10th CBSE Chemistry Chapter Periodic Classification of Elements In this video, you are going to learn about the relationship between atomic number and atomic size. Observe this, along the period the atomic number increases 19, 20, 21. As we move along the period, we see that the atomic number increases. Atomic number is nothing but the number of protons. When I tell atomic number, it means that it's the number of protons. Recall that number of protons is always equal to the number of electrons in an atom. The reason behind it is that to maintain the electrical neutrality. So atoms are always electrically neutral. To maintain that neutral nature, atoms will have equal number of protons and electrons. So as the number of protons increase, it is obvious that the number of electrons also increase. Let us consider this as the nucleus of the atom. And we know that electrons revolve around the nucleus in the fixed orbits. So, like this. So, as the number of protons increase, don't you think the number of orbitals should also increase? And don't you think the atomic radius should also increase along with the proton number? In that case, the size of the atom should increase. So what do you think will happen as we move along the period? Will the size of the atom increase or decrease? Generally, what we think is that because the proton number is increasing, the atomic radius increases. And because of which, the atomic size should also increase along the period. But it's been observed that the atomic size decreases along the period. Now, how is it possible? The number of electrons are increasing. Instead of gaining more size, how can an atom's size reduce? It's a very simple logic here. See, as the number of protons increase, atomic nucleus gains more mass. We know that the mass of the atom is concentrated more towards the nucleus and the mass of electrons is always negligible. So as the atomic mass increases with the increasing proton number, it will exert more pressure on the electrons and because of this, the electrons will be pulled more towards the center of the atom, that is towards the nucleus. All this results in the reduced atomic radius and hence reduced atomic size. So, as we move along the period, the atomic size decreases. So, uh, we were talking about the 7 rows and 18 periods. But, there is a doubt, right? Like, what are these 2 rows all about? So, why are they not counted as 8 and 9? The row 8 is called as lanthanide series. The row 9 is called as actinide series. But, these 2 rows fit into the 6th and 7th row of the periodic table itself. You can see here it's marked 57 to 71 and here 89 to 103. So the elements 89 to 103 are placed in this row and the elements 57 to 71 are placed in this row and they are called lanthanide series. Now let's observe how the periodic table looks if we insert these two rows in the original periodic table. Please observe. Now here it goes. How does the periodic table look now? It's a very long periodic table. So it's a long periodic table. And because of this reason, the modern periodic table is also called as long form periodic table. Periodic table is used by chemists all over the world to compare the physical and the chemical properties, the patterns and relationship between the different elements which we find in nature. And remember that all the elements in the nature are there present in the periodic table. But before I wind up, there is one small question which keeps popping up in the mind. Recall that Mendeleev had left some of the gaps in the periodic table to fill the undiscovered elements. 
but now we have all those gaps filled and more elements discovered but are we sure that we have discovered all the elements in the nature is there any element which is not been discovered and the one major question is there an element which has atomic number 119 or above these are the questions which only the science can answer in the future now with all this information we now understand that periodic table is indeed one of the outstanding works of chemistry let's do a quick recap of the points we covered in this video we understood that the atomic size always decreases along the period and this is because of the increased pull of the atomic nucleus towards the electrons we also learned that the modern periodic table called long form periodic table in this video you understood the relationship between the atomic number and atomic size